All right. The gate tonight was 8.1 million. Attendance was 14,697. Fight of the night, McGregor Diaz. Performance of the night, Diaz and Tate. So congratulations. Uh, the, uh, this thing right now is it's breaking every record we've ever had. Pretty much biggest fight ever. Who's got the first question? Nate is, uh, will, will be here, and Connor should be here any minute. Uh, question for Misha. Congratulations, Mi Misha. Um, Thank you. Can you put into words what this means to you after what you've been through over the last couple of years, and especially after last summer when you, you know, had that great disappointment and now to come back and win, what, how this feels for you? I said that it felt like it was meant to be, and it does. Um, turns out I like gold. <laughs> Um, so I'm just excited to be here, man. And, uh, you know, right off the bat, I just want to say thank you to Holly for stepping up when she could have waited. Like, in my mind, that woman is still a champion, will always be, have a ton of my respect. And if I ever get the honor to step in there with her again, I would love to, so. You know, maybe in your second title fight with Ronda, you know, your emotions were difficult and you seem like you were able to control it tonight. You're going right down to the very edge in, of the fight. And you, I don't know if you know you were behind, but you were behind at that point. You had to make something happen. There's about two minutes to go in the fight. How were you able to remain calm and kind of keep in the moment? Because you really pushed it right up to the last minute. Yeah, my cornermen are always honest with me, and uh, I appreciate that. You know, they never lie to me. They went in there and said, you know, she won. She looks like she's won three of the four rounds, so... I haven't been able to see it yet, but I take their, you know, their advice strongly. And uh, Brian came in there and basically told me, you've got to go guns blazing. He said, uh, you risk it to get the biscuit, essentially. <laughs> so I knew that I, if I had to risk getting knocked out at that point, that's what was going to happen. But either way, I was anticipating on that fight getting finished in the, in the fifth round. So. Can you talk a little bit about, just for a lay person who's never had to do this, when, when uh, Holly throws you over, how you hold on to that choke and sort of, like, when you sort of felt her start moving, do you kind of, you know, cinch it a little bit more knowing that? Well, it was under the chin before she threw, threw it over, but um, I just knew that I had to hang on, and, and I expect that people are going to try to get out of it with everything that they have, and I d wouldn't expect anything less from, ch from Holly, you know? She's, uh, man... She's tough as nails. Like, she really pulled the most out of me. Like, she made me a better fighter tonight, and I'm always thankful for that. So, um, you know, she was giving everything she had to get out of that, and I just had to hang on, hang on for dear life, essentially. So I did. Congratulations. One question for Holly. Holly, um, what, you know, can you describe the final sequence in your mind? Sort of, did you make a mistake, or was it a good play by Misha's part? You know, I've, I think that I just have to... For me, any time in loss, I have to be honest with myself, and I feel like I knew I was ahead on the scorecards, and uh, honestly, maybe I felt like I was getting a little too complacent there instead of being, you know, still acting with that sense of urgency. And um, she got in. I should have been fighting the hands before doing that. You know, I let her get it way too tight before I tried to shuck her off. Just big mistake. Cost, <laughs> cost me everything tonight, but uh, I'll be back. And thank you. And Dana, one question for you, if I could. Uh, you know, obviously this scuttles your plans to, a, you know, a large way having, you know, the people who lost. Uh, how do you now go ahead with USC 200? Does Frankie Edgar get a title shot? Where do, where do you go? I don't know. We'll, we'll see how this thing, how this thing plays out. Um, you know, t we, we weren't planning 200 till tonight played out anyway. So it, it's not like, listen, in 16 years in this business, the one thing you don't ever do is think you know what's going to happen because you don't. Well, I always say the odds makers in this town are nuts. They are nuts. And lastly, George was sitting here, and it didn't seem to be a coincidence that Connor's talking about he's fighting at 170, and all of a sudden George was in the house. Was nah, there that anything was, to trust that? Trust me, that was a coincidence. There, there was no plan to have uh, other people were asking me tonight, was, was he going to call out George? or was none, That was never, never a plan. Well, I guess just to build on that, uh, are, was there any discussion at all, though, with George? I mean, that's always the rumor is whether he'll come back or not. Was there any... Any movement it's still a rumor. I mean, I, 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 George just wanted to come to the fights tonight. You know, have we been talking to George? Yes, we have. But who knows? I, I honestly, right here, right now, don't know if George still wants to fight. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Fair enough. And, of course, no matchmake. But with this loss with Connor, is the primary responsibility for him right now is to go back to 145 and, and defend that title? I mean, I think that's what makes sense. You know what I mean? I mean, tonight, 
tonight was one of those nights. This was a fight. This is what this thing was built to be. This is what it was, uh, you know, everything that we talked about. And it lived up to everything that it was supposed to be. You know, it, it, was, uh, it was awesome. I mean, that, that fight was, I was saying to these guys earlier, so many celebrities tonight were, were, were interacting. When you deal with people who've seen it all, done it all, been everywhere, the big sporting events and everything, and everybody's standing around going, holy shit, what just happened? That's fun. You know what I mean? Tonight, tonight was, a, was, a, was a great night. The co-main and main event were, were amazing. A good for Misha, please. Talk about uh, your mentality. You talked about the fifth round, but I want to know the third and the fourth round. I mean, things were so close. You, you almost finished it early on. It slips out of your hand, and then she's, she's picking up rounds. Your offense is kind of slowing down a little bit. Did, did, in your head, did you ever feel like this is slipping away from you a little bit? I mean, I, I had to be honest with myself at that point, too, and I looked to my cornermen a lot, a lot for guidance there because I, I don't know for sure, but um, I felt like, you know, yeah, she was getting the better of me a little bit on the feet. I feel like I've improved a lot there to even be able to hang with someone of her caliber and, you know, do what I did there. So I am happy with that, but, um, yeah, she was definitely, I feel like, edging me out. And I thought in the fifth round, you know, I've just got to give it everything that I have. I've got to gut it out, and I've got I've to finish this fight. So um, that's, that's what I was looking to do. And uh, you talked about coming into this fight, how refreshing it was to not have to deal with the whole Ronda angle and all the emotion and all that. But it seems like this fight now sets up another fight with Ronda. So I'm sure you want to enjoy the moment. But, um, I mean, does that feel like the right move for you to, in the next fight? The right move feels, what, feels like drinking a Budweiser and eating cupcakes. <laughs> that's what the right move feels like and then I will talk to my I know um, KHI in my management team and we will discuss what's next and we'll talk to UFC um, you know my job as a champion is to fight the, the next best person so uh, whoever that is I will fight him Thanks, Misha. And just quickly, like for Corey, um, I think your, your fight tonight was one that people were debating a lot. Obviously, they started talking about the main and co-main afterwards, but people were saying, you know, how did this fight play out? How did you have this thing scored? How did your corner score it? And, and did you feel like the, the, uh, the decision and the scores were just? I mean, I could say, I, be honest. I say, but for me, it's always 50-50 when you get in there. There's a winner and a loser, and that's all there is to it. And um, tonight, I do feel like I was doing enough to win the fight. She had a great second round. I felt like, I mean, I had one, three, and four, and even five until I slipped up there. And, um, you know, it's a learning experience for me. I should have been fighting those hands right away. And, you know, I should have just uh, not gotten so complacent. I just, I just feel like I didn't have, you know, I kind of let my guard down a little too soon, and it cost me the fight. And a question for Connor. Uh, right here, Connor. Uh, obviously, I know it's a tough night. You know, you, 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 you. You go in there, obviously, up two weight classes. Obviously, I know, you know at the end of the day you did have respect for Nate Diaz. But kind of walk me through your emotions right now. I mean, obviously, it was a big night for you and a, and a big moment for the, for the company. But what are you feeling right now? Um, you know, it's a, it's a bitter, bitter pill to swallow. Um, I, I, t I took a shot. I went, went at it. Um, I feel I was simply ineff inefficient with my, my energy. Usually, I fight a man. In, in the division I am champion in, and they they crumble under those shots, um, but Nate took them very well. The big the the weight, I think, allowed him to take those shots well. So I think with a little bit of uh, an adjustment, and a recognition that the bigger man, you must be a bit more efficient with your striking. You must not put everything into the shots. Um, but I was simply inefficient with my energy. I made some errors. Um, you know, hats off to Nate, he fought very well. He stayed in there. A lot of people have crumbled under the shots, and his range was um, a factor. My, right, my left hand was falling short sometimes. The wheel kicks didn't really, my wheel kicks weren't, I threw them and missed them one, once or twice, maybe hit a glove, and I think they'd done more to my energy than they did to his energy, and it was simply a battle of energy in there, and I, and he got the better of that, so, yeah. Uh, this is, this is the game. We win some, we lose some. I will never shy away from a challenge. I will never shy away from um, defeat or, w you know, th this, is, this is part of the game. So I'm happy to come out there, continue and stay in, th in this fight. I had many chances to not uh, do, do this and, and sit and wait, but um, I went in. I, I, took, I took the fight and it didn't pay off. This is the fight business. It's another day. I'll come back. 
I, I almost hate. <laughs> I almost hate even asking you this question, Connor, because obviously you fought at lightweight before. You were a lightweight champion before. But does this, you know, what, what direction does this put you in for what's next? I mean, is, is it a featherweight title defense? Have you, I mean, it, I know it's even hard to process this on the night, but are, are, where, is your, where is your mind at with that? Um, I don't know. I think, I know there's a lot of people celebrating this um, in the featherweight division. There are many people celebrating another man's victory. It's something that I cannot understand how somebody not involved can celebrate another man's victory. At the end of the day, I am the featherweight world champion. I feel it is right to go back down and remind them um, of what, what I achieved and what I done to that division. And, but I am not forgetting about the 155-pound division. I am not certainly forgetting about the 170-pound division. I actually enjoyed I enjoyed the fact that the shots. I enjoyed the fact that a person could take the shots and keep coming. He kept his composure. He went into almost autopilot mode with the shots. His face was bust up and I went into panic mode. There was just a shift of energy and he capitalized on it. I think with a bit of adjustment and a recognition that the, the heavier man can take, it must take more than one, more than two, more than three to put the, the heavier man away. Um, I think if I can win with that mindset at a heavier weight, um, I, I will do fine again, but um, I think next is probably go back down and defend my featherweight crown. Thank you, Connor. Holly, uh, Holly, obviously your competitive spirit, you know, drove this decision to fight Misha now. How do you honestly, like Monday morning quarterback this situation, how do you get better and, and do you want to fight Misha at UFC 200? I want to fight Misha tomorrow, <laughs> you know. <laughs> like, she would want the same thing, you know. She's she's been around the sport a long time. I, I I'm more anxious to get in and train right now than I have been in a long time. Um, I mean, I everybody keeps before this fight. A lot of people, why are you taking this fight? You should wait for the rematch. What? You know what? I'm I'm in it to fight. That's what I'm in it for. And tonight I made some mistakes, and that's all it comes down to. I need to fix those mistakes. And I'm gonna come back stronger. Um, you know, Misha capitalized, and I've said this from the beginning, she's a scrapper, you know. She can be behind in a fight, and she can still finish, and I let my guard down. And it cost me the fight. It cost me the fight. So the next thing I want to do is go into, I want to get back in the gym and get better. You know, there's uh, this is a whole different fight I had, and uh, I do feel like my whole MMA career has been on this, like, kind of, like, fast course, which I love. I want the challenge. And uh, I wanted to take this challenge. And I want to get it back in there. I want to rematch. Or whoever they'll set up a fight with. I want that. I'm here to fight. Thank you so much. And Connor, uh, was there anything to this fight where 170 played a huge deal? I mean, what was the biggest deal about moving up to 170 in this fight? You know, I, I, I don't. It, it is what it is. He was a heavier man. It was simply me fighting a heavier man, and that's it. But he, can, he could take a hell of a shot. And he's, you know, him and Nick have that kind of style. You know, they, they can take it and, and remain in there and remain in your face. Um, to, in the second round, I was hitting glove. He was, he, his range, he was coming close, and we, I was hitting glove, and that was kind of draining me. Um, he was just simply more efficient with his energy. Um, Stayed in my face, capitalized on it. I, I make no excuses. This is, it is what it is. I, 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 was, uh, I came up short. I took a chance. It didn't pay off. I'll be back.